Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn two sample Z test. How we are going to calculate how we can compare hypothesis testing with the help of two sample testing. I would like to, in this case, to compare section A and section B marks. Would these there is any difference in mean marks of section A and section B? Or there is no difference. Both these sections are at par. Both these sections are equal. So for this purpose, I would like to apply Z test. And here is you can see total number of entries are of the total number of the students marks. We can see here total number of students marks. We can see total number of students are 77. 76 students marks. So here is. First of all, I want to compare, this is my null hypothesis, no significant difference in mean marks of section A and B. That means both these sections are equal, they have got equal marks. But alternate hypothesis said significant difference in mean marks of section A and B. There is a significant difference in mean marks of section A and B. That means both these sections, they are not at the equal level. There is the significant difference, whatever the marks they have received. Either it would be midterm or there is the antum examination. So these are the marks. Now what we have to do, this part is we have to use when we are going to calculate Z-test. So for this purpose, what we required, we required variance also. So how we are going to calculate variance. So let me explain you first of all, how we are going to calculate variance. Equal sign, variance. And this is the, we are going to select this variance sample. And now we will select entire sample here. And this is the sample. And let me close this. And now this is the variance. And variance, we will copy this variance here. Variance section A. Then after that, same thing I want to calculate section B. So what I will do, simply drag this. So now this is the variance of section B. 264.40. Now what we have to do, I'm just, because I had copied both these values here, section A and section B. What I will do, I'm going to delete both these values because I had already copied. Now what we have to do, let me, how we have to calculate this Z test. I will click here data, then data analysis analysis we have to go to the last option z test to sample for means i will click here then i will select it and what i will do i will show you how you have to calculate and uh, here is variable one range is i would select this entire range variable one And this is the variable one range. You can see here. Now the same thing we will apply for section B because this is our next variable. Because we would like to compare both these marks. Right. Then after that, the next option is you can see hypothesized mean difference. So hypothesis mean difference is zero. Because null hypothesis, what it says, null hypothesis, we can see here. Null hypothesis, what it says, there is no difference in between both these sections, mean marks. So variable one variance known, 85, I had already put it here, variance one, right? And after that, what we can do it, next is variance, variance two, variable two variance, that is 264.4. And levels, I have to click here, levels. Alpha value is because I want to check at the 0 0.05, right, at the 5% and output I required here. Let me click here, output range. I'm just deleting here. This is my output range. 
let me mm, click here this is this would be my output range here is i want output let me press ok now you can see here these are the results and a little bit bigger i will do it and after that you can see these are my results and this is the you can say z test two sample for means section a section b mean value is 61 for section a mean marks and for section b 63.21 known variance 85 and 264 you can see here and after that observations in both the cases section a and section b 76 76 6 and hypothesized mean difference is you can see here hypothesized mean difference is zero because i had put it zero because i was I, I was I was uh, my null hypothesis. It is saying there is no mean difference in between both these sections marks. And you can see here is the z value minus 1.01. And p value is one tail 0.154 and critical one tail 1.64 and p value two tail 0.3083. Right, and you can see minus 1.06, right. That is less than these values. And now we can say, right, because there is no difference, not much difference in between both these mean marks. So that means our null hypothesis is accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected. Because that is falling, you can see here, I will just show you minus 1.01. So you can see here, this is the minus 1.645, right? And rejection area. And this is minus 1.01, that is lesser than this. So that is falling in the acceptance area. And in the acceptance area, we can see here in the acceptance area, that is null hypothesis is accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected. So now you can see here, no significant difference in mean marks in section A and B. This hypothesis on the basis of this p-value is greater than 0 0.05. That is why. And uh, here's the 42 tail also p-value is greater than, right? And uh, this one is the z-value uh, minus 1.01. So that means we can say this is null hypothesis accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected. So I hope this video will be helpful to you. Keep watching, stay tuned, and definitely we are going to discuss some more uh, analysis in Excel. Thank you so much. Keep watching.